Tesla is officially selling cars in India. Tesla and the Indian government were locked in a tussle. Tesla wanted to sell imported cars, but India wanted them to make cars here. This isn't just about Tesla entering a new market. This is about the world's most advanced self-driving car taking on one of the most chaotic road systems on Earth. A place where roundabouts defy geometry. Traffic flows like rivers in monsoon. And yet, Tesla dares to launch the Model Y at $70,000 in India. Why now? Why this price? What does it mean for Tesla, for India, and for the future of mobility itself? As the car drives itself through Austin, let's decode the deeper strategy behind Tesla's move into the world's most densely populated democracy. Let's find out. A price tag meant to shock not sell. $70,000. That's the starting price of the Tesla Model Y in India. And at first, it sounds completely unrealistic. Who exactly is going to buy this? In a country where the average income is far below what's needed to afford a vehicle in that range, the move feels out of place. But Tesla's strategy was never about short-term sales. This isn't about targeting the average Indian consumer at least not yet. It's about entering the ecosystem and laying the groundwork. The high price tag is largely due to import tariffs. India imposes steep duties on foreign electric vehicles, sometimes doubling the cost. Tesla could wait for those tariffs to lower. Instead, it's choosing to launch now. Why? Because early presence matters. Even a few cars on Indian roads are enough to start gathering the kind of driving data Tesla needs to refine its self-driving technology for uniquely chaotic environments. It's a move that says, we're here and we're serious. Tesla knows that today's launch is symbolic, but in that symbolism lies strategic power. It builds brand recognition, starts the data loop, and positions Tesla for rapid expansion once costs inevitably come down. And when they do, Tesla won't be entering India. It will already be there. Present. Tested. Known. This isn't a pricing error. It's a calculated entry. Because before you sell a million cars, you need to understand the road. And Tesla's already driving it. Why India's chaos is Tesla's opportunity. To most automakers, India's traffic is a nightmare. Lanes disappear. Signals are ignored. People, bikes, rickshaws, buses, and cows all share the same street like it's an unspoken agreement of survival. But where others see disorder, Tesla sees something else entirely. An opportunity. Tesla's full self-driving system is built differently. It doesn't rely on perfect roads, clear signs, or human logic. It learns by watching. The messier the environment, the smarter it gets. And India, with its wild roundabouts, inconsistent signage, and unpredictable traffic patterns, is the ultimate classroom. That's exactly why Tesla is entering the market now. Not because the roads are ready, but because they're not. Every unexpected swerve, every honk, every near miss teaches the car's neural network how to think. And over time, that thinking becomes instinct. It's not just about surviving Indian traffic. It's about mastering it. Competitors using highly programmed systems would need to map each chaotic street manually. But Tesla doesn't need that level of human input. Its AI adjusts and learns with experience, and India will provide plenty of that. What looks like an impossible environment is, for Tesla, a simulation that's far more valuable than any closed test track. If a car can learn to drive in Delhi, it can probably drive anywhere. That's the point. The chaos isn't a flaw, it's a feature. And by choosing to start here, Tesla is doing what it always does best, diving headfirst into complexity. 
knowing that once it learns to swim in deep water, calm seas will feel effortless. Skipping a generation, just like cell phones. India never really needed landlines. While the West spent decades wiring homes with telephone cables, India leapfrogged straight to mobile phones. It was faster, cheaper, and made more sense for a rapidly developing country. And now, the same leap might happen with cars. Most Indian families don't own multiple vehicles. In many cases, they own none. The idea of every household buying sedans and SUVs, like in the US, feels outdated, even unnecessary. What if India skipped straight to self-driving fleets? That's the future Tesla is betting on. Just like cell towers replaced buried phone lines, autonomous cars could replace traditional car ownership. Instead of building a system where everyone needs to buy and park a car, India could build a future where you just summon a ride. No driver, no delays, just a clean, smart vehicle on demand. Tesla's robo-taxi vision fits perfectly here. It removes the cost of ownership, the need for garages, even the need to learn how to drive. In 10 or 20 years, pulling out a phone and hailing a Tesla could be as normal as opening WhatsApp. And for many in India, that may be their first car experience ever. Now, first like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The real battle, data versus maps. Most self-driving car companies rely on maps, hyper-detailed, hand-labeled, human-crafted maps. They build a controlled environment first, then teach the car how to survive within it. That's how companies like Waymo operate. It's methodical, safe, and very slow. But Tesla? Tesla flips the script. Instead of building the map first, Tesla sends in the car. It uses cameras, not LiDAR. Neural networks, not hard-coded rules. And the car learns on the go. Every odd turn, every chaotic roundabout, every pedestrian darting across traffic becomes fuel for the system to improve. This is why India is the ultimate testing ground. It forces the system to grow up fast. Where others need years to expand to a new city, Tesla can update its fleet overnight. It already proved this in Austin, expanding its operational zone in just three weeks, a task that took Waymo years. In India, where conditions shift from street to street, day to night, rich to poor, this adaptability isn't optional. It's everything. Tesla bets that AI will outpace human-coded driving logic. And if that bet pays off, the streets of Mumbai or Delhi could one day be safer because they're so unpredictable now. Tariffs today, transformation tomorrow. That $70,000 price tag isn't permanent. It's the result of India's heavy tariffs on imported electric vehicles, taxes designed to protect local manufacturing, but beneath the politics lies potential. Because if Tesla and India strike the right deal, the numbers could shift fast. Imagine those tariffs drop or Tesla builds a factory on Indian soil. Suddenly, the Model Y isn't just a status symbol. It's a serious option. The price could fall by 40%, maybe even more. That small change would turn a 1% market into a 5% market overnight. And it wouldn't stop there. Tesla's long-rumored compact model, possibly priced under $30,000, could become a game-changer in India. Designed for tight streets and urban density, it fits the environment perfectly. But none of that happens without this first step. Testing the waters with the Model Y. It's a strategy that mirrors how smartphones took over the Indian market. First, high-end models came in for the few. Then, prices dropped. And now, nearly everyone has one. Tesla is hoping to ride that same curve, starting at the top, moving down fast. This isn't about selling cars today. 
It's about shaping the market for what comes next. A future where Tesla means transportation. Think about how we use the word Google. It's not just a company, it's a verb. Or how Uber became shorthand for booking a ride. Tesla is aiming for the same kind of cultural takeover, especially in places like India. In a future where car ownership isn't the norm, people won't say, I need a ride. They'll say, call a Tesla. That's the goal, to make Tesla not just a brand, but the default word for getting from A to B. And it's not far-fetched. If Tesla succeeds in building a robust robo-taxi network, it could flood Indian cities with smart, self-driving cars that are cheaper, safer, and more efficient than anything else on the road. With enough data, their AI won't just survive India's chaos, it'll master it. And once that happens, the entire urban ecosystem can evolve around it. Cities will change. Parking lots could become parks. Commutes could turn into quiet time. Tesla isn't just entering a market. It's positioning itself to reshape how that market moves, breathes, and lives. One day in India, asking for a Tesla may be like asking for a tissue, and no one will think twice about what that means. Highways, hubs, and the bigger game. Right now, Tesla's full self-driving isn't operating on highways in Austin. But that's changing, and fast. There have been sightings of Teslas testing highway routes with new hardware. Once highway access rolls out, it's not just about city rides anymore. It's about connecting entire regions. Take Central Texas as an example. Austin, Dallas, San Antonio, and everything in between make up a mega corridor of nearly 10 million people. Imagine self-driving Teslas seamlessly transporting people across this entire stretch. No drivers, no delays, just smooth travel between cities. India has similar potential. Think of the Delhi NCR region, Mumbai, Pune, or the Bengaluru-Chennai corridor. These are massive population hubs connected by vital highways. If Tesla can train its system to handle India's intercity roads, even in limited geofenced chunks, it opens the door to an entirely new mobility layer. This is the real game. Not just urban autonomy, but regional reach. Robo-taxis replacing long-haul buses, weekend trips without a driver, commutes reimagined, and all of it is powered by data, scaled by AI, and refined in real time. Tesla isn't just chasing autonomy, it's chasing ubiquity. Highways aren't the end goal. They're the on-ramp to something far bigger. Tesla's India launch isn't about selling thousands of cars overnight. It's about planting seeds of data, of infrastructure, of future dominance. A $70,000 Model Y may not change the market today, but it sets the stage for what comes next. Affordable EVs, AI-powered transportation, and a complete shift in how mobility is imagined. While other companies wait for ideal conditions, Tesla dives headfirst into the complexity. Because in that chaos lies the blueprint for the future. And those who learn early adapt faster. India is no exception. It might just be the proving ground Tesla needs. The road ahead? It's just beginning.